5 Bizarre Ways Our Ancestors Explained Disease Number 5. Spread of Diseases Caused by Night Air In the Middle Ages, the theory of miasma was born. According to this theory, bad air, which emanated from decaying organic matter, caused diseases such as cholera, chlamydia and the Black Death. It seemed to worsen around swamps and during the night. Thus most people avoided the night air by going indoors and keeping their windows tightly shut. When John Adams and Benjamin Franklin, two prominent American figures, were traveling together in 1776, they were forced to share a room in a crowded inn. Adams later noted in his autobiography that the window was open and I, who was an invalid and afraid of the air in the night shut it close. However, Franklin objected and convinced Adams to reopen the window. The fact that a highly educated man like Adams, who later went on to become president, believed that nighttime air was noxious, shows us that the miasma theory was widespread and not solely limited to the poorer, uneducated classes. Indeed, doctors and other highly educated men supported the miasma theory for over a century. Though the reasoning was flawed, closed windows did have some good health effects. Closed windows help the prevention of malaria or the poison which produces autumnal fever and the exclusion of moisture, which often chills the body. In the second half of the 19th century, the miasma theory was replaced by the germ theory. Number 4. Epilepsy Caused by Divine Visitation The early Greeks thought that epilepsy was caused by divine visitation. Epilepsy was also known as a sacred disease, and it went by more than just one name. Some other names for epilepsy in ancient Greece were Seleniasmus, Herculean disease, and demonism. Epilepsy was considered to be a miasma pollution or noxious form of bad air that was cast upon the human soul. Thus epilepsy was regarded as divine punishment for sinners and was connected with Selene, the goddess of the moon, since it was believed that those who offended her were afflicted with the disease. The ancient Greeks attributed the disease to different deities depending on the different symptoms that occurred during an epileptic fit. Thus, if the fit included teeth gnashing, epilepsy was ascribed to the goddess Cybele. If the victim of epilepsy screamed like a horse, the disease was ascribed to the god Poseidon. The cure for epilepsy included a process of ritual purification as well as well as the recital of healing chants. Number 3 Leprosy caused by divine retribution. In the Middle Ages, leprosy was thought to have been caused by divine retribution. Victims of leprosy were believed to be suffering from the disease as a result of their wickedness and personal sin. This explanation for the disease was especially popularized by several biblical accounts, in which leprosy is sent to sinners as a divine punishment. Leprosy was seen both as a disease of the body and a disease of the soul. Thus, lepers were seen as a threat to society not only because of their physical condition but also because of their moral decay which the morally upright were terrified of catching. As a result, lepers were treated horribly during the Middle Ages they were shunned by society, were often forced to wear bells to warn people of their approach, and sometimes had to attend their own funeral mass during which they were declared officially dead to the community. Number 2 colds caused by waste matter. The ancient Greek doctor Hippocrates is often considered as the father of medicine. He was the first person to dispel the myth that diseases were caused by angry gods and insisted that illnesses were caused by nothing more but outside factors on earth. In fact, his influence and teachings were so influential that in the past, physicians took a Hippocratic oath, swearing to uphold specific ethical standards. However, in a time when the most absurd explanations for diseases were born, Hippocrates was no exception and contributed some crazy theories of his own, such as his belief that colds were caused by waste matter buildup on the brain. According to Hippocrates, when this waste matter overflowed, it resulted in a runny nose. This is where the Greek word for the common cold, guitar originated. In Greek, guitar means flow, and the Greek word is in fact still used in English today. Number 1. Mental illness caused by witchcraft. In the Middle Ages, 
People who suffered from mental disorders were thought to be either under the curse of witches or wizards or possessed by the devil. The most common medieval treatment of mental illness was exorcism. During the Renaissance, burning the body and saving the captive soul was the preferred method of treating the mentally ill. During the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, all the tragedies of humanity fell on witches and diabolical possession. Women were condemned as witches far more frequently than men because it was widely believed that women were more likely to be afflicted by demonic possession due to their weaker and more imperfect nature. It was thought that a woman's reproductive system was the proof of this, with the uterus being the source of evil. Supposedly, during their menstruation cycle, women were full of venom that contaminated them and gave them power to contaminate others. It was also believed that through imagination one could produce physical changes in the body, and thus imagination was seen as another form of witchcraft. It was thought that the uterus received pathological images that could not be subdued. However the principal process of imagination originated in the spleen. Thus, because two organs the uterus and the spleen which could produce pathological images existed, women had two sources of evil and were more powerful than men since men could only practice evil through their spleen. 